Yo, what up guys, Brick Swipe D here and it's been one hell of a crazy day here in Raid Shadow Legends land because server maintenance, almost 3 hours that lasted, gave us these awesome rewards of um, what do you call these things, multi battles, one shard, two um, refills of um, 1v1 arena tokens, 400k um, silver and 750 energy because the server maintenance took that long why was all this happening i guess it's because of the fusion that was coming up a lot of things has to be fixed and also the new update that launched with some new awesome features that i'm also going to cover in this video so we are kind of glad for new free to play whenever it gets rewards like this you're appreciative no matter how long the server maintenance uh, went down we are always looking forward to <laughs> the rewards that are coming up I mean, it's not that bad not playing the game for three hours. It's not like you are doing anything special. CBC has already ended. Fusion has not yet started. So I guess that's why Playroom decided to do it then. Anyways, that with that out of the way, log in and claim yours if you've not gotten it right now. It's going to last for two days in your inbox. So don't claim it yet unless you're going to use it for the um, Fusion stuff. All right, I'm not going straight into the Fusion because there are other things we need to cover before the Fusion. So the next thing I need to inform you is that after the update that happened for, I don't for, I forget which update this is, RSL Helper will stop working as usual, right? After an update. It has been fixed. What's his name? The developer has fixed it. Right click your RSL Helper icon on the desktop. It will launch you to the RSL Helper folder. Scroll down to the RSL Helper updater and open it. It will just update by itself. Your game raid cannot be open while that update is happening. I just wanted to, you know, add that little bit of tip for you guys who have not been doing your update. Most people go to the website or to the Discord and download the fresh one altogether. Why? They don't know you can just do the updater right here and do it. All right. That's another <laughs> tip for you guys, I guess. And then now to the main thing that I wanted to cover in this video, the fusion plan. As it is customary for me to do in every fusion that comes up whether it's fragment fusion or old school fusion like this i like to let you guys know my plan how i intend to complete this fusion one thing i like to look at for as a free to play is look for how i can skip out on some of the events on tournaments going on in this fusion because we don't have all unlimited resources or time to complete every single thing so we are looking to skip one two three if it's even possible to skip any it would be awesome the main one what i try to look out for from old fusions is summon rush and champion chase because that's the two that will require you to use the most expensive resources in terms of energy we can always get energy along the way right or even from gems and complete stuff but if you don't have the um, right amount of shards to complete this champion chase or summon rush that is going to be coming up you will not be able to complete the fusion so the first one that starts this um event on a friday is champion chase champion chase it's good because it allows you to use some of your saved up fragments yes that's the reason why we keep our fragments because of events like this so i currently have um, um uros the soul cage vlad the thorn mitrala not yet complete so i currently have two champions right there legendaries to pull which will give me i think about is it 500 points each yes 500 points by per legendary pulled and then for epics i don't think i have any epics right there to pull so i have 1000 points from champion chase which means i still need to use my shards right to complete it so i don't know yet whether it will be 1000 or 1005 when we see the points we'll have to decide but usually i can complete this champion chase easily there's no problem with champion chase if you have old fusions that you've not yet done in terms of relic keeper and all that like i see i have most of the rares except this champion who is farmable from this campaign i might do relic keeper for 250 points and broadmoor i have everything another 250 points so champion chase is easy that's what i'm trying to say you usually don't need to pull your shots for it but most of the times we pull our shards because it coincides with a 2x event. That's why this Friday, yes, does coincide with a 2x event. So before you go out, out pulling your shards for a 2x event, make sure you have enough shards saved up for the summon rush. That's this warning that I have to give out because the summon rush, you need a rare from there. You necessarily don't need the epic. The epic, where is it? Epic. The epic is right here. The epic is in summon rush okay that's it <laughs> the epic is in summon rush and there is no a rare is also in summon rush so the epic champion which most people try to go for 
so they can skip out on other events is in summon rush and that will require you to reach about three thousand five to four thousand summon rush points i'm glad that i do have enough secret shards to get that done 11 secret shards so if you do your maths 11 secret shards times 500 will give me 5500 points that means i have enough secret shards to hit whatever points that was set for this epic champion right here so i have enough points to reach the summon rush i have enough points to reach i mean i have enough points to reach the rare and enough points to reach the epic that's what i'm trying to say from my secret shots so this weekend will be a 2x on ancients right yes so i can successfully and confidently pull all my ancient shots for this 2x let me quickly check the news to make sure i'm reading it right because they did announce it already in the news i just want to be sure it's 2x on summoning boosts on from ancient shots so i'm correct so i can confidently sit tomorrow and pull all my ancient shards i currently have over 80 saved so watch out for that video because i have enough secrets to complete the um summon rush so that's the breakdown that i wanted to give usually i come on here and tell you guys oh there's a way you can skip out on summon rush oh there's a way you can skip out on one or two events but this time you see me i'm not doing that i'm being very careful about this event because if you don't calculate properly you miss out on one of the rare so to guarantee that i don't maybe i don't like ice golem or maybe i don't want to do fire knight right i might get that epic i'm telling you right now now this is not an epic champion that you normally want to go all out for to have duplicates of so because we've checked out this champion it's not that special well i haven't looked at the skills but i'm telling you right now i don't think this is a champion that i want a duplicate of just to be sure not to make this video any longer than it needs to be i just want to read out the skill a little bit for you guys who don't know who this king kinagashi is shadow king faction champion who already have a lot of epics from there i also have a lot of legendaries from that faction so i'm not looking for more from the a1 though 30 percent chance of decreasing the thumb meter then by 10 percent each hit that is a 20 percent thumb meter reduction yo but that's a very low chance 30 percent chance if it can be booked up to 50 percent i mean 40 percent 40 percent chance when booked but that's that's a good one it's not like it's 80 percent chance or 60 though it would have been awesome so most times this a1 will not reduce the thermometer so it's not a reliable thermometer reduction that's what i'm trying to say amiga is still king i guess <laughs> then on the a2 teams up with a random ally to attack a single enemy this is an epic champion teaming up with one other ally to attack a single enemy i guess that should not be end of the skill because it will be a trashy skill let's see what else it adds also fills the thumb meter of all allies by 50 percent now that is awesome this is on a three ton cooldown when booked so this skill is actually good as a thumb meter boosting skill and also a damage skill i guess so okay i thought it says you can attack a random uh, enemy it says a single enemy so you can target who you want to attack with that double two-man um, attack which is awesome i guess that always goes with an aoe you want to maybe pair with this champion with somebody who does aoe damage so you don't attack a single target you do a aoe damage like big arms score crown you know you know the names senesha all right for the a3 revives a an ally with 50 percent hp and 50 percent thumb meter also places a 60 percent increased defense they're trying to make this champion looks like a champion that can do damage or you know but so far from all world to be read this seems like a support champion a general support champion because once you put revive on a champion like this and then an ally or ally or one ally attack it seems like this champion is not out for damage it's just there to help others do damage or help others survive or revive so kinagashi is the first one i think in the shadow king faction to have a revive so if you're trying to do faction wars for shadow king and your your those squishy champions keep dying this is the champion you need to keep them alive also increased defense always helps i guess for two turns so 50 percent thumb meter after that revive is awesome 50 percent hp is not like 20 25 percent hp when revived so it's an awesome champion but it's not one i will go all out for to get duplicate of because i have already completed shadow king faction that's the only place i'm thinking of using this champion for other general content i think we have better champions 
than this in terms of revivers or champions who can do all ally attack like um, what's his name Farrakhan the fat or even champions who can do three ally attack are out there so that's why i'm not seeing these champions as anything special not even for that ton meter feel or that a1 decreased ton meter that is not 100 percent reliable all right that's my review of this champion i will not be going for it as a champion to have a duplicate of i'm going for the summon rush as a champion to help me skip some of the events out there that is my fusion plan i'll complete everything to the letter i will not try to skip out on anyone this time around but when tomorrow launches and we see this champion chase originally i was thinking whether oh maybe it's time for me to pull champion for pull um all my points from champion chase from fragments right and save my ancients that's what i was thinking but i've now looked out here and i feel like if i do not have enough points to complete champion chase from this fragment because i do need to pull this champion this is not one that i'll say oh i don't need him no i do need urost in my team <laughs> so it's time i pull him i'm gonna definitely pull him then maybe if i pull him then i have enough points i just maybe complete my ancient shard pulls with the rest of it so basically what i'm trying to say is i think it's time for me to save my ancient shards for a guaranteed ancient event yes that's what i'm planning to do right now save my ancient shards for a guaranteed ancient or a legendary champion event that can be obtained from ancient shards and for me to do this i'll be uh, doing some fragments combined with maybe 20 or 30 ancients i did pull my void shard for the um <laughs> Uh, what do you call it warlord 10x yesterday and it's not worth mentioning because i didn't get anything it was all rares <laughs> so i just recorded it and hoped to get something it didn't happen so i didn't post that video because it was just 10 void shard pools i did that because i knew i had enough shards to complete this event both the champion chase and the summon rush all right that's my fusion plan i'll also be pulling all my mystery shards during this champion chase tomorrow to see if I can pull some of the rares because if you do pull the rares that will give you an opportunity to skip out on one of the events maybe skip out on the summon rush entirely remember the reason why we try to skip out on that summon rush is because it, it coincides with a 10x event so if somebody who pulls 50 ancients 30 ancients there is a guarantee there's a small chance that you pull the rare that is currently being shown in this fusion who is um, what's his name now lamy ball so if you do pull this champion do not use as food this is one of the rares that is needed for the fusion now in terms of resources that you need to complete this fusion it's not just um shards i've talked a lot about shards i know because that's the major one that i wanted to focus on so in terms of other resources that you will need i have not even farm spirit keep you know everybody has everybody was going crazy about hey farm spirit keep fan arcane potions and i'm like farm what what are you talking about so I'm not flexing here, but it just happened that if you've been playing the game long enough or if you've been getting a lot of clan boss rewards in terms of Ultra Nightmare, Nightmare, naturally you just end up having this many um, shards, I mean potions, without even going into the potion keeps. So, But if you've not been having Nightmare, Ultra Nightmare and Brutal Chest enough, you might need to farm up a, lot of, a, a little and complete it. So in the total numbers that you need... I think El Hates posted a video about it, 48 or 50 something. All I know is this is more than enough for me. Now, in terms of the arcane big potions, people say do not convert your arcane, um, greater arcane, into superior ones because it's going to cost you a lot, right? You see, 3 million, 4 million. But if I'm lazy to go into the arcane potion to spend, to spend energy, I don't mind spending the silver to get it done. That's general rule is do not convert it that's what people uh, recommend if you can farm the uh, the 20 level of the arcane go in there and farm it and get it so because i know that's what i'll need a lot of but i do have enough right here to make me not even worry that even if i don't have energy for it i can just come in here spend 3 million silver and have 32 right there or <laughs> you know 3 million silver is small i can go into my artifact and do a cleanse right now and get 3 million silver that's it so it's small for me but if you've not saved enough silver for to complete artifact enhancement which is going to be coming up when on sunday artifact enhancement right there you might want to you know 
not spend that on a cane, I guess. But hey, don't begin to spend all your a cane and all that right now. Begin to, to take champions to um four four star right now. Wait until champion chase. I mean, wait until champion training. Where is it right now? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? We start with dungeon divers, champion chase, dungeon divers again, fire knight. Champion training is on Sunday also. So wait until the champion training starts before you ta start taking those rares you get to um, four star and all that. So that's what I'll be waiting for. And hopefully by then we have enough silver from all these other events that will be farming a lot of. All right, that's my fusion plan exposed. It's nothing special. It's just a little bit different from the normal fragment fusion because this time around, it's not like I can go in there and win arena tournament and get one extra rare. Nah, there's no extra rare anywhere. None. I have looked at the calendar before even pressing record on this video. The only extra place you have of getting an extra is this summon rush where you have two right there. The rest is single, single everywhere, single. Now, in terms of planning this event properly, Dungeon Divers just started along with Dragon Tournament, but we've checked our um, game and we can see the Dragon Tournament right now. Don't panic. It's been worked on and I'm sure they will launch it and we can all start it today. But if they delay so long that it happens on the 10th, I'm sure they might end up extending Dragon Tournament a little bit further because they delayed the start. It's supposed to start with Dungeon Divers. So don't start your dungeon divers or don't start any farming until that dragon tournament launches and you can start farming it. I guess it's part of the update and a bug that happened. All right. So let me know what you think about my fusion plan. Do you intend to summon so much shards that you get this epic champion or are you confident with just summoning one or two or three um, sacred shards and then getting this rare champion? So... If I'm trying to skip on any of the events, I will go for the epic. But if I look that it's so easy that I don't need to skip out on any events, I will end up... You see, that's why it's even on the 17th. By today, we'll know whether we want to go for the epic or not. So right now, we don't know. Let's see how the champion chase looks before we decide whether we want to go for the epic or not. All right, I've talked a lot about this fusion plan. Let's head over to something else. The new update that launched with this update patch, if you don't know, is a new feature that allows us, or the, I've said it in the previous video, that allows you to upgrade an artifact instantly. Now, because there is no artifact enhancement event going on, I'm not going to demonstrate that for you right now. But I guess I can do it with a four-star <laughs> four artifact. Let me not be that stingy with my silver. You know, I'm a content creator. Let's be a little bit free with our silver i guess let me try it on this artifact that is six star let's see if it's roll speed and i turn on instant upgrade it will stay on it's not like whenever you come into the game you have to turn it on again it will stay on remember that so i want to take this artifact to level eight to see if it's roll speed or something that will make me keep it let me click one click okay they are letting you know that this will instantly upgrade this piece gear to the choosing level right so do not explain again so once you select this you will not be warned again next time each level upgrade will still happen progressively so it will take the total amount of silver that it will normally cost you and skip out on any fails that you will normally fail and deduct that out of the silver of course and let me hit it it should show us the total amount that was spent i don't know well, normally when we do a single four star one level, it really doesn't tell us the total amount of that was spent. But if I have instant upgrade right here, and I want to go to level 12, I should see somewhere where it shows me the total silver before I decide to spend it. That's what I'm trying to say. Because right now, this shows me is 13,950. That's just for one level. Instant upgrade to one level. I'm saying there should be a button that shows me the instant upgrade for 12. It didn't roll speed. So this is the new feature that comes into RAID. So it is an awesome one. Let's just keep all those animations and it will allow us to artif um, complete artifact enhancement events really, really fast. If any of you need a gear cleanse, now is the time to request it and do it because it will be so easy. Because taking all this gear to 4 and 8 will be so, so faster. And gear cleanse won't takes that long anymore 
all right that's this update i wanted to share with you my fusion plan is quite easy complete every event and i've showed you the resources i'm going to be using to complete it i didn't show you my um, um what do you call it energy resources though because i do have a lot of trash gear covering up everything okay here they are some energy some energy some keys i need to claim more trash so i do not have like a load amount of energy saved up and you can also head over to your um what do you call it i think i'll be getting energy from my 3v3 arena bazaar in four days no i already claim it so during this fusion yes i'll be claiming another one i mean another 300 energy from here i'm really really looking forward to this one and hopefully during the week if you can win higher levels on each any of these tournaments or the um events to get anywhere where is energy i will also be claiming that also i don't think energy is falling anywhere else yes doom tower i was waiting for the event to launch even before doing my doom tower keys i'm asking player come on launch this dragon tournament because if i do this doom tower key right now it's gonna give this give me this energy into my pool and i want i don't want to save up energy even in normal i'm currently stuck in somewhere where i don't want to do anything else because i don't want to claim the energy yet but hey doom tower is something we are kind of progressing slowly but that's a, a solid source where i'll be getting a lot of resources from in terms of three star chicken four star chicken even five star chickens and more gems also all right let me not prolong this one any further my fusion plan is simple like i said let me know what you guys are think what do you guys think about this fusion um is it easy why didn't i have two places to get the epics from like they normally do um because a lot of people hyped the epic i mean hyped early cat so much that now playroom has attached a lot of value to this fusion that's why they might make it a little bit harder than the normal fusions and they've already shown that by removing one of the ways we will normally get an epic which is champion chase and summon rush now we only see it in summon rush so we sometimes they even had it in artifact no in champion training in very very bottom levels of champion training sometimes i think there have been one time where there was an epic there anyways i'll be going for this one i'll be showing you my plan if anything changes and um hopefully tomorrow the shard pool video for the some for the champion chase you also see that on the channel when i'll be pulling all my ancient shards i'll see you guys in the next raid shadow legend video good night guys